Hey everyone, today we're going to be telling the tale about how my deaf friend got laid. Yes, the beautiful, magical, juicy tale of how this deaf idiot got his pee-pee road. Now, this is not your regular story. This story is actually very, very fucked, in my opinion. It's a, it's a weird tale that you would never think would ever happen, but it did. And I'm going to discuss the details now. So get ready, grab a, a drink, maybe a PB&J sandwich, and enjoy the tale. So my one friend, Brett, I'm sorry that I have to use this, this tale, but my one friend, Brett, his girlfriend and him had broken up, and we decided, you know, we want to cheer up. We're going we're gonna to go party, we're going to have some drinks. And his dad kind of steps in, he hears us discussing this, says, do you know what? That's a great idea, boys. We haven't done that in a while. You guys have been playing hockey all this time. You're busy. You guys need a party weekend. Here's $300, the keys to, <laughs> the, keys to the van, and uh, I'll book a hotel room wherever you go. And we're kind of looking at each other like, is this fucking for real? Is this, is this real right now? And it was. His dad gave us some cash. He paid for our hotel room, gave us the keys to the van. I don't care. It was a fucking van. It's still a vehicle. And we decided we're going to go to Calgary. We live in Edmonton. We're going to go to Calgary, have some drinks, have some fun. And uh, we have another friend named Cole who decides to tag along. Now, we're all very good friends. We've all played hockey together. Close-knit group. And for the most part, we're, um, well, how do you say this? We're used to each other's company. We, we know what to expect out of each other and, and how each other acts, I guess you could say, until this very night. This very odd fucking night that I will remember for the rest of my life. So my one friend, Cole, he's, he's always been a little, a little sporadic, I guess you could say. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to call it. I mean, he's not slow. He's, a, he's an EMT, but he just, there's something a little bit different about him. I mean, myself, I'm a hyper, hyper human being. But Cole is just, he'll do anything. Here's an example. For our one uh, rookie party for hockey, Cole stripped down to nothing and streaked inside... <laughs> of the uh, the biggest mall in in Canada so <laughs> that that puts into some perspective what this guy's willing to do to uh, you know get some laughs and, and make an ass of himself so we get to the bar we've actually met up with a friend and his girlfriend we're all at the bar we get our first couple of drinks and we notice uh, there's a couple girls standing to the left of us essentially we're, we're in a little group and there's a couple girls and uh, my friend Cole leans in and he says Hey guys, let's go talk to those girls, but um, but uh, pretend I'm deaf. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you want us to do? Just let's go talk to those girls, but pretend I'm deaf. Like I, I, I recently lost my hearing, and so you have to sign a little bit for me because I'm not really good at reading lips. And we're kind of looking at each other like, what the fuck? Why would you ever do that? What, what would that possibly gain out of this whole thing? Like that's that's the weirdest request I've ever heard in my life. That's the weirdest tactic to try and pick up these girls I have ever heard. And so my friend Brett and I look at each other and say, yes, this is a great idea. We would love to do this. We want to see how bad this is going to backfire on the guy and just how fucking weird it's going to be. So we've got our first couple of drinks. We've got some liquid courage. We walk over, start chatting, and I, I don't really want to participate. I I've, I've, haven't seen my one friend from Calgary for a long time. Uh, we want to go dance. And so... I stay for a few moments to really gather and understand this whole idea, what's going on, and it was ridiculous. My friend literally walks up and says, hey, uh, my name's Brett, this is Cole, and he's deaf. <laughs> what? Why? Why? I don't, I don't get it, but they did it. And uh, my, friend <laughs> my friend is signing for Cole here and there, trying to explain what happens, and then Cole is replying, like he's, he's talking to them, but he kind of tries to put on like what his example of a deaf guy voice would be. Like, I couldn't really hear him because it's pretty loud at the bar. But he's like, um, so... And, like, realistically, he just sounded like he had a speech impediment or something like that. And, you know, when he's replying, he's like, hey, girls! And, it, like, it was stupid. I couldn't even believe this guy. And they start chatting, and they're talking. And uh, I'm getting a little bored. I'm like, okay, there's only two of them. I, I need to go find some ladies or something. Like, I, I gotta do something different than just watch my friend make an asshole of himself. And so I decide to go dance with my friend, with his girlfriend. We find a couple girls from um, the university, and uh, things are all well. You know, we've got our own little party going on. 
And then we we kind of lost Cole. The, you know, the guy that's pretending to be deaf, we, we just kind of lost him. He was gone. And so we came back from the dance floor, we grabbed a couple more drinks, and we're looking, and we see Brett, and he's actually talking with one of the girls, and we're like, what the, what, where the fuck is Cole? Where's Cole and this other girl? So we walk over to Brett, and we're like, where is he? Like, where did he possibly go? And Brett kind of just gives me a little, like, you know where he is. And I'm, I'm questioning, I'm like, no, nah, that's, that's, that's impossible, there's, there's no way. He was pretending to be deaf, I mean, how? How would this even happen? And he's just looking at me like, you know where he is, he's, he's getting fucked. He's getting laid. And so it turns out that he is. He goes to this girl's apartment. Magically goes to this girl's apartment. And, uh, I mean, at this time I figure, okay, well, he must have just been like, oh, okay, I'm just joking. They had a good chat. And then uh, they, you know, went home together. Is what it is. Had some fun at the bar. Drinks took the best of them. And then wanted to bone. But it wasn't that simple. Here's the thing. He pretended to be deaf the entire fucking time. He went to her house pretending to be deaf. In a cab, he is deaf. In bed, he is deaf. And this is the most... I I couldn't understand. I was like, no way. There's no possible way this guy got laid acting like this, sounding the way he sounds, and it worked out for him. There's no way. I mean, he's a good-looking kid, granted. But seriously? However, the stars aligned that day, and my friend got his pee-pee pumped by this girl... That, that that literally put up with him pretending to be deaf the entire time. He goes in the cab pretending the entire time. Hey, um, yeah, I'm only here for a couple of days. I'm from Edmonton. What the fuck? And then they get to her place and he continues it. Like while they're chatting before, before, the kind of the pre-hump. He's still talking like this. And then he tells us, during it, during the engagement, he's still fucking doing it. And I was just laughing. He calls us in the morning. He's like, yo, guys, I'm going to get a cab over to the hotel. We'll go home. Like, crazy night. I'll tell you about it later. So he gets back to the hotel. And we're like, how? What? What? How did you possibly pull this off? How did you not give up the, the whole act and, and you know, be normal, you? And, and maybe then it would happen. But he, he played it the entire time. He played this character the entire time. And uh, we asked him, like, well, when did you when did you stop? And he said, um, while we were having sex. And I was like, oh, like at the beginning? He's like, no, kind of like midway through. And we're, we're just baffled. We're like, you got to fucking tell us. How did this happen? So in the cab, he's deaf. <laughs> at the house, he's deaf. During the whole foreplay, he's deaf. And um, at one point, <laughs> oh, my God. At one point, while they're having sex, he... He's talking, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, that feels good. (laughs) Oh yeah, that's so sexy. You know, he's still in this character. And she finally snaps, she loses. She's like, shut the fuck up and stop being like a... (laughs) Oh my God, I can't even say it. I feel guilty saying it. She says, shut the fuck up and stop acting like a retard. I know you're not deaf. What the hell? You took this guy home who's pretending to be deaf all night and then you just like cut him off mid-hump? While he's being deaf and call him a retard? Are you kidding me right now? What is going on right now? This is this is some weird X Files. <laughs> like I don't know. Is this like fetish? I don't know. Like, did you think he was deaf this whole time? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some of that deaf dick in me. I want some of that deaf dick. But no, it turns out she just thought he was cute. It was really funny, and uh, he committed to this the whole time. I, I she must have just figured he's getting the D in me. Uh, no, she, he's not getting the D. I hope he's not getting. I hope it was a girl, but uh, I think she just decided. You know, he's been he's been working his ass off for this bang. You know, he's been he's been playing the character. He's been playing his role, and he's getting it tonight. And he did. He played the character all the way up until mid bang, and then she finally called him out and said, "No, okay, this is enough. This is this is getting too much. I'm, I I can't handle this anymore." Calls him out mid hump, and then he's like, "Oh, okay, uh, sorry." Just the weirdest tale. The weirdest thing I had ever heard. I cannot believe that it, it went to that that point in the night that they're humping. And then she finally says, Stop being a fucking retard. <laughs> very weird. Very different tale. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tale of my very, very weird friends that I, I, I love. <laughs> if you guys like these story time videos, let me know so I can do more of them. 
if you're curious what this game is in the background, it's called Duelist, and I'm actually going to do a video on it in the future. It's kind of my new addiction right now. Uh, while Destiny is a bit slow, I'm really enjoying this one. It's kind of like a mixture of chess and Hearthstone. So yeah, I'll talk about this video in another video. It's own video. Video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.